This is Angela Vaughn from MyCampCast.com, and I'm here with the amazing Sophia Davis, who is the founder of Fashion on the Hudson, and this is number seven. Well, this is actually number seven at Riverbank State Park. We started the show in 1999. We used to do it on 7th Avenue and 125th, and it was called 7th on 125th. Oh, wow. So what are you looking forward to since, you know, it gets bigger and better each year? What are you looking forward to this year? Well, it gets bigger and better each year. We had Macy's Department Store contact us a buyer from there. Uh, she did say she was coming to the show. And uh, we hope that she'll come and, you know, maybe see a designer or so that she likes. Because this is the Independent Fashion Week for independent designers. Because, you know, a lot of designers cannot afford Fashion Week. Okay. So therefore, and you know, these are emergent designers, some of them are sewing out of their home, they don't have showrooms and things like that. So we try to provide a platform for them that is professional. It's a professional setup, professional seating, and you know, we reach out to people, we hope everyone comes, and uh, you know, it's really good. It's a wonderful show, and it's free. That's the best part. It's free. Free is always the best part. So what made you want to have it here in Harlem? Well, one, I feel like you know, a lot of people do things downtown, which is nothing wrong with downtown. But, you know, this is me. This is where I live. And I think that we have a lot of flavor and a lot of creativity. But if not given the opportunity to show that creativity, you'd never know it exists. So for me, it's important to be here in Harlem showing, one, what Harlem has, the beautiful venues that they have, and, you know, we're at Riverbank State Park. It's, it's amazing. And, uh, two, the wonderful designers. Now, all the designers are not from Harlem, but this is like the hidden talent in the fashion industry. So tell me a little bit about your magazine because you're doing runway and now you're doing print and video, live stream. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, Fashion Avenue News Magazine was developed because designers and models came to me and they said, you know, we've gone to the other magazines, we've gone to, say, so-called so mainstreams, and we've been turned away. They won't even listen to us, they won't even look at our photos. And, um, you know, a lot of them came to me. And I've always been the type of person where, you know, I don't complain. Everything is fine. What I do is I develop, I create. So if you don't want me, I kick the door down and create my own. I am not begging anyone to have me. I will create something that is fabulous. And then you will wish you had spoken to me when you had the opportunity. So this is how Fashion Avenue News developed. Because it's a high-end, glossy, it's beautiful. And they're all emerging designers. Now we do feature established designers as well. But we have emerging and established fashion designers all in one beautiful luxury magazine. As well as Plus Side. There are not many magazines that I know of for, you know, unless it's recent, that will put plus size right next to straight size. They put them in a category. We do not do that. Because why should you be in a category when you're fabulous? You need to be in the fabulous category, okay? Because that's the only one. And it doesn't matter what size you are, you are fabulous. So we have a beautiful plus size model in our anniversary issue this, this year. And uh, we also have a straight size model. But we don't put them in categories and we don't discriminate. Our only thing is you have to be fabulous. So for us, you know, you will never see most uh, mainstream magazines do that. It takes someone that's bold enough to say, you're fabulous, to do something like that. And that's what we do at Fashion Avenue News. So since this is going on, and I'm really excited to be here, um, do you have a favorite designer, whether it's walking in a show or just... Well, you know, I do, but I'm not going to say that because if they hear it, then I'll get in trouble. But I love all the designers, and the thing I like is that each one is creative in their own right, and all of these designers are like the next big thing. And if they had just a tad of money behind them, they could be so amazing. And that's the only thing to stop them. They have the education. They know how to put together. We have a guy that does all his stuff by hand. The whole garment is done by hand. The whole collection you're going to see is done. Who does that? Who does couture? Nobody does that. I mean, you might see that in Europe, but how many couturiers do you have in America? He did this entire collection by hand. And that is amazing. And you can turn the garment inside out and wear it any way you want to. So to me, you know, He's an amazing designer. This is what you want to see. This is what people should be looking for. Because they're going to the same designs, which is nothing wrong with the same ones. But how much new stuff can you come up with? You need that fresh talent. And that's what you're going to see in Fashion on the Hunt. Well, that touches on you doing your magazine. Because as you know, as um, times are progressing, um, a, lot of, a lot of people are getting their start, like starting on their own. Because they're so 
social media is such a powerful thing. So to be able to be um, the founder of this magazine is a beautiful thing. And I can't wait to um, read your magazine. Thank I you. I flipped through a little bit online, but where can we get the print copy? Is there a print copy? Yes, of course. Oh, it's sold at the Magazine Cafe, 15 West 37th Street in New York City, between 5th and 6th Avenue. And we also have the new digital, which is Model World Magazine, which is a totally different from Fashion Avenue. And I'll just say a little bit about Model World. Model World Magazine is a fashion industry resource magazine. And the beauty of that is if you're new to the fashion industry or you're looking to advance your career, we will have bloggers in there where you can contact, press you can contact that will respond. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I will have, if you need a seamstress, if you need a photographer to do your look, if you need a venue, all of that, see, it will be a resource guide as well as with a magazine, you know, we'll have the gorgeous pictures and all of that, but it's the type of thing you want to keep, you want to oh, continue to read because it has information to get you started. Where do models start? Where to audition? All of that's going to be a Model World magazine. That's, that's going to be a powerful tool because I know that when you're first coming to New York, there's so many different types of people that will tell you one thing, one thing. But if you have a book in your hand, you don't necessarily have to jump and get an agent right away. If right. I have that and I can go down for the list, I can create my own press. Right. And then you have an opportunity to see what direction you want to go in. Sometimes, you know, if you have a child who wants to be a model, you may not know what direction to go in. You know, you got all these people pulling at you and you're not sure, is this the right person, is this not the right person? But at least with, you know, Model World, you'll have a list of people, most of the people, not all, but most, we either know personally or we have checked into. Now, we don't guarantee that. It's certainly, you know, people can submit the information. So it's always good to check and make sure. But a lot of them we do know personally. And that's a good thing. It's a guide. It's a start. It gives you some place to start. We have a Paris division. So if you decided you wanted to go to Paris, we have someone over there that you could talk to. You want to go to Hollywood, we have someone there in L.A. You know, so we have people in different strategic places. Australia, we have, a, uh, you know, office down there. Not an office, but say a physical. So we have people down there where if you wanted to go and you need interviews or whatever, they can hook you up with who to talk to. So now you can add to Miss Sophia Davis. I'm the one-stop shop I'm to get your career shop. together for modeling. If you, want, yeah, if you want to get started in fashion, honestly, we will work with you. You know, we try to guide you. We're not a model agency or anything like that, but we'll help you. We'll help you with what we, you know, with what we know. So you, you're really, really passionate. Were you a model? Well, I wasn't per se a model. When I started, I wanted to be in fashion. The only way I knew how to start was modeling. So, of course, I was a little short person, nobody knew it. And I was much smaller, of course, then. But I sat back, and my mom said, well, you know, I was complaining. She said, listen, honey, you have to come up with something that makes you different from the other girls so they'll pick you. Well, I developed a fierce walk. My walk was so fierce, I got trophies in my house. And I don't walk around with anything now, but at that time, I had to develop something. And one, two, three, I started getting picked, picked, picked. And they were all saying, you got to get that little short girl with the fly walk. And that's how I really became known. Then I went from there, and I went to the Apollo Theater. I was director of models for the Apollo Theater for 10 years. I did 15 models every Wednesday for amateur night, hair, makeup, and designer for, for every week for 10 years. So, you know, all of that really got me into fashion. Then I started Beautiful, Talented, Educated, BTE TV. And I started that back in the day. We won't say how long, but it was back in the day. <laughs> it was and, early. Yeah, it was early. <laughs> and uh, I did that, and I learned how to edit. I went to class. I did all of that. So that I'm just saying, it's a way, if people want to really get into fashion, we have a lot of ways that we know we can help you. Well, I'm just so honored um, to talk to you because I can talk to you all day, but I know you have to get the show. Yeah, together. I gotta get that show rolling. Um, so let's so tell everyone where we can find you if you know someone is watching this video and they're just like, oh my god, she she just mesmerized me. Find, tell me about where your social media are and how we can get in contact. With you. Email too, if you can. Yeah. Email is eic editor in chief at fashionavenue.news.com. Um, I'm on Facebook, Fashion Avenue News. If you Google Fashion Avenue News or you Google Sophia Davis, you'll find me. My website, fashionavenue.news.com. Um, I'm on all the social medias, Instagram, Pinterest, you name it, I'm on it. So that's another way. And then our office is 112 West 34th Street. That also is on the website. You can stop by our office and talk to us or, you know, get any additional information. We'd love to talk to you. Thank you so much, Ms. Davis. Thank, Thank you for talking to mycampcast.com and 
we can't wait to see the show. Thank you so much, I see you.